I won't have the time to go into the backgrounds of each of these people, so if you want to look into them, you're more than welcome to, and we can discuss any questions you may have. The ones that I'm going to go into with this are either CEOs or founders or people who started a business, whether it's internet-based or whether it's offline. And the first one is Doc Lou Childry. Now, Doc isn't, he's not a doctor, but it's just Doc because he's someone who people refer to as someone you look up to or someone to go to for questioning or for answers. And Doc, Dia, ongoing, unseen concept or constant, L-E-W, Lou, as it lie, expressing plural, or active base, expressing plural. And then, Childry, concept here identified, or unseen, constant to itself, here identified, Chi, Dri, as in Dia, reference, or human letter R, human number 18, reference expressing. So, concept here identified, as it lie, directing, or Dia, reference expressing. And he was born September 7th, 1945. Now, September is nine, identified. Seven is the generator or grouped. And 1945 is the dia, the expression. And he's the Heart Math Institute founder. So if you think about that, your identity that generates seven and even or groups. And 45 is the dia expression. His name being Doc Lou Childry, the Chi, as it lie, Dia, reference expressing, and he's the Heart Math Institute founder. Not only that, he was born in Goldsboro. Now, I've been trying to tell people that the date of your birthday, the place you were born, all these things, and then when the places you move to, those actually start affect- affecting you too. Now, it's so much that I would spend the rest of my life trying to prove that I'm right to people. And I have no interest in proving that I'm right. I know the creator. And I'm speaking from the universal mind. So I'm only doing this to show you that I know what I'm talking about so we can take all this effort we're putting in this stuff that's unnecessary and save the damn planet, okay? So we'll go to the next person. Try to keep in mind always that every word comes from the center. You aren't the body, you are in a body. And you have a heart in a body. Now, Deborah Rosman, PhD, who is also associated with the Heart Math Institute for over 40 years of experience. Now, Deborah, D or Dia, direct, expressed, base, ongoing reference, active here. So when someone goes to her, Rosman, reference, ongoing from side to side, manifest active notion. R-O is like R-E, but it's ongoing. It's not just to do again, it's, it's ongoing. And then Z is from one side to another. Man is short for manager. And she helps people direct or dia express their base ongoing reference active here. Their heart. Not just their heart as in the organ, but their heart as in how they feel, how they control their emotions, how they control the way they sense the world around them. That kind of stuff is so much more important than people understand. It's almost as, if not more important, than the physical aspect of it. Because if you don't care about anything and your heart is broke in that fashion, you're not going to go very far in life. Now, Deborah Rosman, literally from one side to another, with the Z in the middle of her reference ongoing, from side to side, manifest active notion, and her being Deborah, really resonating with her name, is to dia express base ongoing reference active here. Heart here plus dia express base ongoing reference active here. Rosman, come on. I mean, these are so obvious. And it's not just these individual people. It's everybody and everything. If you can't see that I'm coming from my heart, then I don't know what else I can do in a world that needs to actually care that they're here and that they have a job to do. I'm helping you find that. Without being insane, without trying to go too into the dark side, I know all about it. I know more about it than anybody I'll ever meet. And anybody you see that's putting out haunted, scary stories, they don't know shit about what I've seen and what I've been through. Now, they may have done a few things here and there. They may have killed 100 people. I remember billions of lifetimes from both sides, all sides, inside and outside. 
And I'm not saying it because it's fun. I'm saying it because each one of us has done this. We just usually forget. And me, I live in this 24-7. I'm trying to help you guys before you put yourself through some horror that you don't want to go through. Because I care about you. I'm showing you how you avoid that in a lifetime and out of lifetimes. So let's go on to the next. Just like everyone else, these ones work out, but I find these kind of awesome. Frederick Trent Stanley. Now, form, reference, express, diet, express, reference, identify, or concept, kinetic, plus the reference, express, notion, plus, if you have a plus, exp reference, expressed, notion, plus, and it's a stan, not stand, subject, plus, active, notion, as it lay, or ling, expressing vital identity. So, okay, all of his names resonate with doing something to something. Form Reference Express or Form Redirect, Form Redirecting, and then Trent plus Re, this notion here, plus, so there's something here and you're going to re-notion it with a plus, and then his last name, subject, as it's, uh, not stand, like I said, but stand, as it lie, to express something as a vital identity to it. And he is the guy who founded Stanley, the tools, Stanley tools. If you have something in place where it stands, but as it lies, you express a vital identity to it, a tool. Do you see that? And at the same time, DeWalt means to dia express plural alter. When you want to alter something, dia the expression, that's tools. Black and Decker, base as it lies, active concept kinetic, and dia expressed concept kinetic, express reference. You're going to reference the thing that's on deck? Black and Decker. Wow. Tools. See what I mean? These things are always that because that's what the letters mean. That's why it sounds so repetitive because the letters will never mean anything other than what they are. The shape has a meaning and it's always going to mean that in every instance. And if it was something else, it would mean something else. Even though it's going to sound like saying the same words for the letters, it's like saying... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are always going to mean what they look like. And the letters not only represent them, they move them from numb expressed references to light or literature expressed references that become lot in place, L-O-T, as it lies on going plus. Like I said, there are the seven dimensions and some I'm trying to teach through the word, and others I have to teach in person. Because if I try to do them online, you can't trust AI, because that is a tool that is being used against us by people who aren't for us. And there is an us, and they are part of it, but we have to balance, and we are so out of balance, we need a new tool. So let's get Stanley and Black & Decker out of our toolkits and fix this mofo. We're gonna go into some internet CEOs, okay? Susan Wojcicki, Susan Diane Wojcicki, who is the former CEO of YouTube. Now, YouTube, something you watch, right? The uh, subject underlying subject's active notion, or subjected active notion, Wojcicki, plural ongoing, intense, J, the junction of what's plural ongoing, concept constant to itself, or the unseen concept, identified, as a concept kinetic identified. So if we have a plural ongoing junction to that, constant to that, identified, constant kinetic identity. You're watching something, plural, ongoing, intense, as your constant identified, constant kinetic identity, and it's something that you're watching because it's identified again. It's YouTube CEO. So she's the subject underlying the subject active notion. And what's that active notion? Watch Kiki. It's not TV. It's the concept identified concept kinetic identity. Literally. The YouTube CEO. Come on now. And then Diane in the middle of her name. Dia identified active notion express. Okay. Put it all together and see that that does exactly fit as what she did and was associated with in her life. If I'm wrong, please correct me. While I'm at it, I might as well just go right into Larry Page. 
Now, we can go into his full name and his full birthday and everything like that. But just tell me, what else would resonate more with somebody that you're going to watch on a web page than a person named Larry Page? The Ling Airy Page. Now, as it lie, or the active base, as the active reference upon itself by the identified, place active generated expression. So he's the guy who has a lot to do with your internet that you're watching in your airy page, the Larry page. Now, that's not just me playing with words. Words are playing with you, and you are living in them. Because, like I said a thousand times, you're not the body. You are a receiving station for information, and every moment is timeless. That sounds like an oxymoron, but you have to have a base to come from, a body, and a base to come from mentally, time, and you add it all together, and I'm showing you the math that is happening at every moment of your existence. Some of these are just almost too freaky to be true, but of course, they're true. Just look at them. Now, this is Vint Cerf. Vinton Gray Cerf. June 23rd, 1943. He's known as one of the fathers of the internet. Now, being June 23rd, you say six as in form, force, or familiar. Now, 23 is the base concept or the based constant to itself, unseen concept. Or the 23 is W, the plural. And 1943 is the dia, unseen concept. And he's one of the fathers of the internet, the unseen concept. And dia being June 23rd, the form, plural, and then his name being Vinton Gray, vital identified notion plus ongoing notion, okay? Gray, generated reference act of vitally identified, and then surf, unseen concept expressed reference form. Now he's one of the fathers of the internet, born June 23rd, 1943. Do you see how this is all spiritual? Even more than the word spiritual, this is God. We are living in the body of God. And if other people don't want to see that and know that and feel that in their heart, there's got to be something wrong. Because there's somebody here who has nothing but love for them, for who they truly are. I will always know you. And I'm bringing you back to the center of what we are all here for and what we're all here to figure out. You are the universe combined into you. And other people who have lost that feeling and that love for that are using the physical world to live out their desires and their dreams with you as their benefactor and make you feel like you're not a good person if you're not contributing to their ideas and their things. But you have just as much reason to be the creator of your own life than they do. And if they're trying to stop you from doing that, you've got to be brave enough to stand up for yourself. All these individuals are in place doing what they're doing because this is the universal mind. And we're destroying the body because what we're doing here on this planet, on what seems like our surface, is destructive. And the more we do that, we're killing one of the great organs of this giant body that we're all on. And if you have a bad organ, everything starts malfunctioning and that's happening because we're not thinking enough about what we're doing together as a collective. Even though people seem like they say they are, they're not. I'm saying it plain and simple. And this is how it truly works. And if you just think about it, you'll definitely understand. Now, I was debating whether or not to go into this, but I have to. We're going to go into Alex Jones. Alexander Emmerich Jones. February 11th, 1974. Now... Alexander being my last name, being his first name. Now, if you resonate with something from your heart, true to God, you will understand that things work out truly. There are multiple definitions to the same name because our names resonate with where we were born and who we are and what we associate ourselves with. So his name, and he resonates highly with Alex Jones because that's what he hears and that's what he goes by. You have active as a lie expressing center, so he is his own character, and we know him as him. Jones, the junction of himself and the ongoing notion expressed subject. 
So he's a prominent conspiracy theorist and a radio show host, right? Well, he also is associated with the people he's associated with. And I'm not going to go into any of this stuff. You can look into these people. Some of them are are definitely in place to steer the agendas of one or another, whether it's themselves or others or who they're aligned with, because everybody's aligned with somebody. And Emmerich, being his middle name, is the expressed manifested, expressed reference, identified unseen concept kinetic. His birthday being February 11th, 74, is to the base, 11, the act of action or the kinetic, and then 74 is the generated and grouped to and from him. Literally, that fits exactly what he does. Just like everybody else, it always will, and this is how words, letters, and life in the universe work. Despite everything you've ever heard, I'm explaining it to you simply and easier than anybody else. The only reason it sounds so simple is because other people made it difficult so they could control you. I'm freeing you. Now, after you understand this, you can't just sit around and do nothing and just keep cooperating with the world as it is. These kind of people are misleading you, whether they know it or not, because they don't understand this. Or they wouldn't be searching after money. They wouldn't be paying taxes to criminal governments. They wouldn't be wondering what the world is all about. They'd look at nature and cooperate with it, obviously the way it works, not the way we've turned it into. Aside from anybody I'm breaking down, the corporate world is killing us. And we all know that. We can't allow it. Our problem is we are addicted to all these different things, the foods, the clothes, the merchandise, the high-paced life. We've got to get over that. Those are keeping us as sinners. What we think is heaven is actually hell because we need it in order to to enjoy life. You are here to find out that you're here for a bigger purpose than yourself and it's not to serve other people with intentions to rule over others. That's not true power. That's earthly power. And that's nothing compared to who you are. And you can't ever touch that until you stop being selfish and give yourself to the world in a loving, open, honest, healing, peaceful way. Now, as somebody who loved Nintendo when I was a child, Shigeru Miyamoto, she is almost like chi, but intense, because it's S-H-I. Shigeru, the subject here identified, generated seven and even from him, arrow into the air as a unit, the express reference underlying. Now, Mayamoto, we all know what Maya is, but now it's M-I-Y-A, which is manifested, identified, vitally identified action. Moto, not motor, but moto, still ongoing, but manifest ongoing plus ongoing. So, Shigeru Mayamoto, and November 16th, 1952. It is November 11, which is kinetic, actively active, 16, in place or potential, And then 1952, we can say 52 is the expressed base. So see how he is a video game designer. One of the greats, the game director and producer of Nintendo. 910 Doorway. Ongoing. Nintendo. See how this is? I can go into all the games, all the characters. If some people, if that might help, just let me know. I'll do that too. I'm more concerned about the planet we're living on than entertaining. We've got to actually care. I mean, I love you enough to try to help you understand what this all is because see how this works for everything? It's the only thing that works for everything because it is God. It's what God really is. Non-religious, straight, plain, right out to you. Not trying to cast any spells of any sort. Just showing you how it works. The magic of the world. The real, true, light magic. It can be dark because it works based on where you were coming from. And we got to get everybody together to come from a better place. With our other CEOs, business people, and inventors of products, this one is quite interesting, and it fits to a T, just like they all do. Now, Shannon Klingman, the inventor of Lumi deodorant. Subject, here, active, notion upon itself. Ongoing notion. Hmm, an odor, right? Klingman, that smell sticks to you, right? That kinetic as it lie, identified notion generated 
manifest active notion. So she's going to manage what clings on you from your subject here, active notion upon itself, ongoing notion. So she's managing the smell that clings to you. And that's her name. Do you see? Like I've said, and I like saying over and over, I ask you if you understand that this is true. And I'm teaching you through word, through living people, and the words that we surround ourselves with and use as information to communicate. It is alive. More alive than you ever believed. And unfortunately, most people will only figure this out when they die. And not all of them will because it depends on what you're holding on to in your mental body when you die. Because if you die and you are worried about what you left behind or what you didn't finish, you don't have an open heart, open mind, an open soul ready to see what you were doing here. Most of them will cling and come right back. That's going to be all for Volume 11, so until next time, peace and God bless.